This is your uncle Al, peep peep. This is your uncle Al, peep peep. Look at how big she <laughs> is. also doesn't know that we are home no. at least we don't think she knows that we're home <laughs> his driving is literally gonna put me in the grave he accidentally sent my sister a snapchat when we were in Virginia Last snap. and um, yeah why don't you explain what you did I was just sending out my streaks I just said I had gone to the bathroom in many hours and was very tired and then I accidentally sent it to her as well yeah forgetting that I wasn't supposed to tell her so but the thing is is I I'm not 100% sure if she picked up on it like it I really it too. was really late yeah so I don't really know because I did talk to her today and she was like asking where I was and everything and I was like oh I'm just in the parking I said I was in the parking lot of AutoZone but I was really just sitting in this truck in his driveway in Wisconsin but yeah, anyways, to make a long story short, we are on our way to my sister's right now, and I'm so freaking excited because I get to see my nephew and my niece again, and he gets to meet our niece, Bristol, for the very first time. I always forget that just because like I spent a lot of time with her when she was first born, but she was born in February, and he hasn't been home since January, so this will be his first time officially meeting. Luckily, technology helps us like not feel like so alone so he feels like he kind of already has met her because he sees her on snapchat and everything by the way we did not plan to both wear our Dunder Mifflin shirts today I showered um, as soon as we got home and he took the dogs for a walk and came back and showered and put on the shirt and we just didn't even plan it but we're both supporting our Dunder Mifflin shirts today so we're not that cringy couple that wears the same stuff it's just it was an accident It's for Rex's birthday. Hmm? Probably out back. What? Probably out back. Maybe. It's a nice day. Hello? Shut up! Hey. <laughs> hey. Who could possibly be here? <laughs> oh my gosh. Who is it? Hi, bud! <laughs> Come here! <laughs> Hi, baby! Ooh. Oh, my baby! Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, Hi, my buddy. Baby. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi! Braxton, this is for you! Ooh! What is that? Can you give Al a hug? No. <laughs> Why did you tell me you were traveling? You're such a sneak. <laughs> Shut up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, do you miss Al? Yeah. yeah, well, I mean, his mom knew, but. I missed you so much. Are you so excited? There's a snake in my boot. <laughs> oh, that's He's never met her. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, sis, she's huge. Oh god, this is your uncle Al, peep peep. This is your uncle Al, peep peep. Look at how big she <laughs> is. Hi, my girl. Do you remember me? Say hi, my girl. This is so excited. Everyone's excited. Gee. <laughs> hi. Say hi. Hi. Look at your Braxton Queer. Braxton blocking the whole thing. <laughs> my girl is huge. Oh, oh, my girl is huge. Did you guys stay somewhere last week? Look at there. She's it so big. I'm trying to get her to smile. <gasps> Bristol. 
Come here, buddy. Hey, you want to go by Uncle? Go sit down so no. we can get a picture. No, I don't want to take this picture. So she looks just like you. Hi. Where's your smile? Hey, Shunky Shunk. Where's your smile? <laughs> Whoa. Why is he outside? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Come at me! Not your aunt! No, squirt gun fight! Get Uncle L! Oh! Not my eyelashes! No, not your Aunt B! Not your Aunt B! No! <laughs> no! Oh my god! I'm not in this, I surrender! <laughs> this was supposed to be a fight between you and Elle. <laughs> no! How to do this, Braxton? Look, watch B. Watch B. <gasps> do you want to try? Come here. Throw it at me. Here, you try. You try? Okay. Help. Here, hold it like that, Braxton. Oh, that works. Go get it. Go get it. <gasps> cool. You are cheesing like crazy, girl. It is Monday, August 3rd. I am bundled in a sweatshirt and sweatpants because it is so cold here. Like, it feels amazing, but I will be the first to admit that I'm a baby about the cold now because I'm just so used to, like, North Carolina weather that it feels amazing. It's, like, 60 degrees, and we seriously... I have not seen 60 degrees since I left here in May, so it feels really great, but I'm just not used to it. Um, I'm not wearing any makeup today because I have a facial actually I'm going to in like a half hour My mom was generous enough to get me a facial for Christmas She paid for it, but then I just had to make the appointment and I had it set for April But then COVID canceled it. So now I finally get to go do that and I will let you guys know how I like it It's called a Hydra facial. I'm really really excited to try it out But it's gonna make my skin glowy and wonderful for the wedding. So I'm excited about that today has been honestly such a busy day We have been I had a meeting with um well, we had a meeting with our caterer and then we right after that we went to a meeting with our DJ and then right after that we had a meeting with our venue and like the final payments for all of them and the final like meeting and talking about what we all need to do for the day of and everything. So it was a very productive day but we have just been like go, go, go. Like I seriously had a bowl of cereal this morning and I haven't eaten like since. I haven't eaten all day. It's just been like go, go, go for the wedding but... Yeah, I'm just loving the weather. I'm loving being home. We're getting a lot done for the wedding, so that's awesome. But I have to leave here shortly for my facial, and I will let you all know how I like it. I'm really excited, and I think my skin needs it really bad just because, like, the heat and the humidity and everything just was not very nice to my skin and all the sun and everything. So I'm really excited to just 
it's supposed to like be a moisturizing facial so i'm really excited i need that i literally have so many dry pat like this right here is a dry patch from like leftover from a sunburn and everything so really excited about that i will update you as soon as i get back to let you know how i like the facial hello everybody it is now the next day i am in my usual um <laughs> sit down talk to the camera filming spot at al's house i'm just on his front porch it's just really nice because it's like away from everybody that's inside and it's quiet and it's so peaceful so this is always where i sit but i wanted to give you an update on the facial so i'm not wearing any face makeup right now but the facial was amazing i honestly love it and my skin feels so great i still have these dry patches so like ignore that but i have a little sheet that kind of explained like what the facial does so i'll read that to you it was called the hydra facial and it says it's the only hydra derm abrasion procedure that combines cleansing cleansing extraction and hydration simultaneously resulting in clearer more beautiful skin with little to no downtime the treatment is soothing moisturizing non-invasive and generally non-irritating as with most procedures visible results from hydra facial will vary from person to person but basically they have this like machine and it just like went over your like it was like a little brush that went over your face and it like had a few different steps like it had an extraction step it had like a cleansing step a moisturizing step a like skin firming step it was just like so awesome and i absolutely loved it i also have um a serum that i got with it so this is the serum i'm going to be using right now i'm trying to show you guys if i won't focus on it it's by the brand eminence and it's their clear skin willow bark booster serum so this morning was my first time using this and it just made my skin feel so awesome i'm really looking forward to keeping using this but it's just like it's like a little dropper i can't really show you while holding it but it's like a little dropper and it gets like the serum in and then you can kind of just dab it on your face or you can drop it right on your face but i'm really excited to use this i really hope it helps just give me flawless skin for my wedding you guys know i've always struggled with my skin whether it's um being really dry or having spells of breakouts or anything like that i've just always struggled with having like flawless skin so I'm really hoping that this is something that can help me. I had a serum a while ago that I used right after I got my Dermaplane and I loved it but I ran out of it. So I'm really hoping that this helps um, just keep my skin like looking flawless and feeling amazing. Today we actually are going to go to lunch with Elle's grandma and we haven't seen her since they were home for Christmas. So it's been a while but she doesn't really like to be on camera so I'm not going to film her or anything. So I'm actually going to be ending the vlog here. I just wanted to update you on the facial and how I'm liking it which I'm loving it. So I will try to update you again and like see how my skin is looking after a few days but that is it for this vlog i hope you all enjoyed it and i will be vlogging again like tomorrow so i will see you all in the next one bye